don't you wear t-shirts two sizes too small? That's like Tommy Mac on Rough Cut. I don't want to distract people with my manly physique. Do you ever use that TV? Yeah, I'm using it right now. Mainly I listen to Sirius XM radio on it, but when I'm shooting a video, I mute it. And if I'm shooting a video where that TV is in the background, I try to remember to turn the TV off so it's not so distracting. In the wintertime, I use it to watch football too. What did you do before becoming a full-time YouTube woodworker? <laughs> well, I was a graphic designer. Or was I? When would I use a spade bit versus a Forstner bit? This is a spade bit and it's just got these two cutting surfaces on it that just gouge through wood. They don't do a really pretty job of cutting wood so it's not really a very good woodworking tool. But they're inexpensive and you can find them at just about any hardware store or home center. This is a Forstner bit which is typically used in woodworking and it gets you a nice round perfectly smooth cut. But they are more expensive and they're not always available at all hardware stores. Where's the best place to get lumber for a beginner in the Bay Area? Well I'm not really sure. It depends upon where you live in the Bay Area. I live in the North Bay in Marin County and we've got a couple different places here that sell hardwood and some exotic lumber. I like to use Rafael Lumber in San Rafael because it's very close to me. I can get there in about 10 minutes. But for just general purpose wood purchases, I just get it from Home Depot. Hello? Service? Help? Can I use a scroll saw in the same way I would use a band saw? Yeah, yeah, no, sort of, maybe. A scroll saw doesn't have as much power as a bandsaw, so if you're gonna be trying to cut through a big chunk of hardwood, you're gonna have a real hard time doing that on a scroll saw. Plus, the blades are just really small and fine tooth. How did I dent the front of my truck? <laughs> it's dead center as if a tree was my target. Jason wants to know how to prevent pocket holes from going all the way through the wood. Yeah, that could be a problem. You gotta be careful. The thing to do is make sure you set your clutch on your drill. This this turd, this thing here that most of us probably never use. I set mine way down to like a number four. It stops the drill when it reaches a certain level of torque. So if I'm drilling, 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 and then it gets tight, it'll stop at that point. So do a couple of tests to figure out where that's it. So it'll put the drill in, the screw in just far enough, but it won't go all the way through the wood. Because that can happen. If you're just going that, that, that screw will just go What did you do for a living before you were, wait, didn't I already answer this question? An assassin, I was a paid assassin. No, a ninja. I sold encyclopedias. Romaine wants to know about making a desk for a computer, a real desk, not my writing desk. Here's my office and my actual desk that I use all the time. I built this many, many years ago and it's all made out of oak. It's got an oak plywood top that I've stained. And then down here, I just built this little area for CDs back when that used to be a thing. And I've got a couple of holes in the top here for <laughs> cord management. <laughs> and I also built these cabinets up there. Do you ever go camping or do outdoor things? Mm, not really. Why do I use lacquer all the time instead of other finishes like polyurethane? <laughs> because lacquer dries really, really fast and I don't have a lot of time and I don't have a very long attention span.